Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be set three, game one between Shaolin and Terror. Upper right in corner, we have Shaolin starting as the Great Protoss. He's a Chilean Protoss. I have not seen him play before. And we have the Peruvian Terror, Terror, as the pink Terror in the bottom right in corner. This is on Fighting Spirit, of course. I want to give a lot of shout outs, first of all, to Esports Fund at large for organizing or for funding this tournament, but also LML for really putting in a lot of the brunt work of honestly like this is the thing that i think gets ignored and i don't know that he wants the credit or anything like that but there's like these guys behind the scene like lml back in the day uh Zerus, um a lot of guys like that there was another guy uh who prima dog which i don't know that he's i mean he's been out of the scene for quite some time um but a lot of these guys who just do the brunt work of organization who do the administrative stuff, who just make things happen. And honestly, like they're the ones I cast and I have like my part in the scene and I'm glad to be here, but it's really all of that. It is all of that. All of those people putting in all of their effort that really makes things happen in the scene, in my opinion. So the people that are hosting that stuff, uh, I think Quix does a lot of that, um, but th those are the pillars. It's like you have the grassroots, you guys, the audience who are doing your part. Um, and then you have the pillars who are those gentlemen who really make all of this possible. And honestly, I feel like you can see the health of the community based on how the pillars are doing. So lift those guys up, give them praise. Uh, those are the guys, I think actually what happens is you know an eSport made it when those guys get funded. So I think that is, if I was going to talk about long-term eSports goals for StarCraft, that's what I want to see happen. Anyway, Probe Scout immediately coming down for Shaolin. He's going to go ahead and get... Terror scouted right off the bat. Terror is going to be able to scout the upper right hand corner himself. It looks like we are seeing a uh, gateway cybernetic score before a zealot and a simulator uh, build, getting a little bit of harassment on this SCV initially. We do already have a refinery up with three SCV mining gas. So it looks like Terror is in fact going to open up potentially with some form of two factory build, a blockade with this pylon to make sure that additional... This is, this is kind of a nice play just to mess up the SimCity a little bit and also to make Terra think that, hey, maybe there's an incoming threat. Factory being planted on the front line. However, Shaolin is going to be able to see those SCV on gas to have an idea of what he's going up against. In the meantime, the gateway is, is silent. So no initial zealot. Looks like he's just going to save up maybe just straight for a Nexus after this. So acting as though he's going to present a threat putting down another pylon. So I maybe he was trying to think of like, oh yeah, I'm going to cheese in your base, but not likely with two Marines out there. I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to trick Terror into thinking that he's going for more of a pressure aggressive build, when in fact he's going to go for a very early Nexus. And there is the Nexus being plopped right now at 17 supply. Unfortunately for him, okay, so Terror did back off the gas. Now he's plopping two more in. So I think he is going to follow this up potentially now here's the thing Terra could go both directions but i think he is in fact thinking about pushing up with some pressure himself the marines actually okay they're just fanning out they want to go ahead and block additional scouting information i'm wondering if they're going to sneak up and get aggressive it looks like Terra is going to fold this back into a command center after machine shot but i think he realizes a lack of pressure as far as a follow-up so he is in fact Gonna fall, yeah. So, gonna play a little bit more defensively. So, Shaolin pulls it off, at least getting that Nexus up early. These are the connect, these are the shenanigans, the shenanigans that you need against a player of Terra's caliber. So, I like seeing it at the very least. Initial tank being produced, no additional Marines being constructed, and also no defensive bunker. So, Terra finding corners to cut as well. And is Shaolin gonna try to grab yet another Nexus? He's got a probe out there, kind of hanging out the 12 o'clock location. I think just double checking for proxies. Two gate behind this as well as range being upgraded. A Dragoon scouting across the three o'clock. Was maybe concerned about that. In the meantime, second factory being created. Two, so it's gonna be two tanks, a handful of Marines. But this might be some trouble for Terra because he's not getting uh He's going mines, actually, to follow this up. So this is going to be some sort of one base aggression. 
The Dragoons are starting to pull forward. But Shaolin, he might have had an opportunity to be aggressive, but Terra reading this perfectly as Shaolin has gone ahead and planted an, an additional Nexus at that 12 o'clock location. And with the Vultures and the Mines, this is just like mind reading stuff. Because with the Vultures and the Mines, he can pressure this situation well before I think Shaolin is in position to defend. Because he's got a wide open base. He doesn't have a pylon wall anywhere. So it is possible that Siege Tanks and Vultures, as far as a follow-up, can just puncture through a lot of this territory. So three Siege Tanks, three Marines, and an SCV now attacking towards the front. couple probes transferring, uh, transferring to the 12 o'clock location. This is going to be a few Dragoons to defend this. Shellen trying to get around. Engaging right there. Able to get a good barrage of shots on initial siege tanks. Trying to peel off the Marines. But you can see the Vultures can just wander up in the midst of this. A, an additional Dragoon joining. And now the attack and defense force kind of being split. These mines being dropped. That observatory is a ways off. A shield battery on the front. And Terror just able to walk past the Dragoons. The Dragoons, are they going to go for a counterattack? They're going to try to walk that minefield. So Terror able to just walk in to this natural expansion. It looks like... Heard that go off. The Vulture is already wandering into the main. Attacking the probe line. Yeah, the rest of the Dragoons... Yeah, and Challenge is calling GG right there. Wow. That's just... I don't know what to even say about that. GG. All the way around. Terror. Very aggressive with pushes generally. But that was beautiful. Because first of all, the game sense. Second of all, the execution. Just it. It was... What that felt like is that felt like a Master Archer kind of hitting... Like, not just hitting the bullseye, but hitting the bullseye while that loop was being tossed. And just shooting it straight through. You know, it's like... The loop goes, he times it, and it goes like straight through the middle of the loop that was tossed in the air and hits the bullseye simultaneously. Well played by Terror. Uh, we'll move on to the next grouping as far as the Twitch audience. I think I'm going to try to switch to the full set of Ranker versus Basuchi. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.